iPhone 10 versus iPhone 8 Plus. If you're deciding between the two phones and the camera is your main priority, is the 10 worth the extra money? To find out, we took them for a tour with Chinatown Alleyway Tours in San Francisco. We left the cameras on default settings and shot the video in 4K at 30 frames per second. Now bear in mind that the screen you're viewing this on will make a difference in how you perceive the images. If you're looking at photos on the phones, they're going to look nicer on the 10 because of that OLED screen. That doesn't mean they're actually better though. Off the phones, it's hard to distinguish photos between the two. That's because the phones share the same wide-angle lens. The main difference is the telephoto lens. On the 10, it's slightly faster than the 8 Plus and has optical image stabilization. Both phones use that telephoto lens for portrait mode to give a blurred background effect similar to what you'll find on a DSLR. Portraits look great on both phones, but if you look closely, the 10 captures more detail. You'll notice it here in his beard and here in her hair. While the front-facing cameras on both phones have the same basic specs, the 10 adds portrait mode for selfies. By creating a depth map of your face with cameras and sensors, the 10 can isolate your face and blur out the background. The portrait mode effect is not as accurate as the main camera, but it's still a good option to have if you take a lot of selfies. Apart from portrait mode, the telephoto lens is also used for zoom. In daylight at 2x, it's hard to spot the difference between the two. But in video, the stabilization makes a noticeable difference, especially when you're moving. When the sun goes down, both phones are still similar for most shots. At 2x and viewing photos at a reduced magnification, it's hard to notice much difference. If you look closer though, you do see a difference in sharpness and detail, like this shot on the bar aquarium. For video, it's hard to notice any big differences between the two. They're good for phone cameras, but still do show a lot of noise in low light. Where the 10 really shines is for low light portrait mode. Even in the dark, Lexi's face looks sharp and well lit on the 10. The 8 Plus is darker and more grainy. For video, if you're hardly moving, the stabilization won't make that much of a difference. Going into this, we expected there to be a bigger difference between the 10 and the 8 Plus, but it turns out it's not a huge jump in image quality between the two. If you're a fan of portrait mode, the 10 does a slightly better job, especially in low light. And it's the only iPhone that lets you do it on the front camera but it's at least a $200 difference in price between the two, which seems like a high price to pay if your main interest is the camera. But of course, that's not the only upgrade you're getting if you choose a 10. Time for some real talk. You found out exactly what we have to say about these two cameras, so it's time for you to vote. Sound off on the comment section below or hit us up on Twitter.